Elliot Minchella, it's the K2 Yorkshire Cup final on Sunday against Batley at Mount Pleasant. Another tough championship side awaits. Yeah, it's been a uh, tough competition. It's really brought some competitiveness to, to our pre-season. Uh, two tough games against Halifax and then Dewsbury as well. So um, no doubt we're expecting the same again at, at Batley and obviously on their, on their patch as well. So looking forward to it and hopefully we can obviously lift the Yorkshire Cup. I mean, the silverware is sort of like nice to lift it for the fans and, and yourselves, but ultimately this competition has been all about preparing for that first game against Featherstone on Sunday the 3rd of February. Yeah, of course, the Championship's our main aim and um, this is sort of like get us ready, like you say, for round one and I feel like it has. It's, um, like I said, it's, it's, the games have been more than friendlies. You know, we've played friendlies in the past and it's not go through the motions, but it's not as competitive as a normal game, but these haven't been like that. I think all the fans will know that it's gone for 80 minutes. Like last week, it went right down to the wide, didn't it? And uh, no, it's, we've got a lot out of these games and you know, there's one more to go. And like I said, we're up on the winning side. You know, we want, we want to win another cup, so that's all we can do. And these games, obviously, are going to be a bit of a precursor, a bit of a taster to what the championship season's going to be like. That week in, week out intensity against these big physical sides. Yeah, there's no, there's no easy games in, in the championship. Um, you know, it's a step up from last year, but this is what we've worked for, and this is, you know, this has come on the back of our campaign last year. So, um, you know, it's getting us like battle hard and ready for the for the long campaign. And um, there's some tough teams. Everyone's everyone's a good team. Everyone's different. Um, and Batley, you know, they're a good team as well. Big big middle unit, and they can throw the ball around as well. So they're going to test us. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing against uh, another championship quality team. We've not just got the. Championship quality team. You've also got the famous Mount Pleasant slope as well. I've just asked Mary Wildy, uh, do you prefer to go up it or down it in the first half? I don't think I don't think it matters. Does it? I think you have to go up it in either half. So um, same for both teams. Obviously, they've probably got a bit of an advantage. They're used to it a bit more. But I played there a few times, and it's it's not a nice one, especially in January when we're going over in January. So no, nah, it's all uh, it's all part of it, and we, we can't really think too much about the, the the hill. But yeah, it's certainly a factor. What's been the most positive aspect of this pre-season so far? Um, I just think we've got a massive squad this year. It's probably bigger than last year and it's quality, you know, it's quality in depth as well. Everyone's brought something different to the table and it's putting pressure on everyone. In my position back row, we've got four or five quality back rowers and arguably we all could be starting. So it's putting pressure on everyone and everyone's raised the game, raised the, raised the training and you know, it's just, it's just uh, positive for the club and positive around the, around the building. It must be quite heartening to see players like Eben Skir, Oliver Wilson, Keelan Foster, Corby Green, Jake Lightowler, Brad Gallagher mm. making the debut on, on Sunday against Huddersfield and making a, a telling contribution. Yeah, mate, the, the academy's next second to none, isn't it? You look at the lads who are like breaking through and uh, I've got Matty Stoughton, who's you know, he's right behind me, he's probably you know, he's he's a good player in here and Rowan Milnes, he's stepped forward. Um, you know the list goes on, doesn't it? Lolly Wilson, Keelan Foster—they're all—they're all bringing some in. Like John keeps saying, it's bringing a fresh enthusiasm, and everyone's looking over the shoulder. You know, you don't want to be caught by these young lads, and but that's their job in it. They're trying to catch us, and we're trying to stay established in the team. So it's good for everybody, and you know, long may it continue, and the future's bright here at Bradford. What's the mood like in the dressing room then? Clearly, everybody knows about the competition for places, and everyone clearly wants to use the pre-season as a good indicator, a benchmark to impress John Key to potentially get that starting jersey because by John Keir's own admission there's still five or six shirts up for grabs in that first game against Featherstone. Yeah I'm sure John's having a few ideas isn't he? Um, but no that's the squad he put together so he must be you know he's confident of the squad we've got and um, playing wise it's like I said it just puts pressure on you you, you can't afford to have an off day in, even in training or when you go out and play we've got two more warm-up games before round one so we're all trying to put his best foot forward and um, try to impress John like you say and the other staff and hoping that um, you're in them 17 that gets gets to play because we've got a squad of 30 odds, so there's going to be a fair few out playing. Um, but it's a long old season as well. It's not the be all and end all being in there round one. And I'm sure the team from round one will be different from round 26. So it's a long year, but I'm confident that we've got a good squad here and we can challenge. You appear to have started 2019 with a bang Elliot, a couple of tries against Dewsbury. You support players with say <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's what I. Uh, it's what I um, live for, yeah. I've been getting into Ethan and beating him at minutes. So. No, it's um, something about my game that, I, that I've done from a young age. You know, It's been like instilled in me, so it's something that I do and I'll, I'll keep doing it because I keep getting rewarded. So, No, it's good that we're playing a bit of, bit of summer rugby even in this cold weather, so hopefully when it dries up, I might get a few more.
and the new players, Reece Evans, Mary Wilder. Yeah, Jake Webster. You know, everyone's everyone's added to the to the group. You know, we've added experience this year. I feel uh, we were young last year, but the lads were all obviously a year older this year, and then we've brought in some older heads. It's a good mix, and you know, I feel like we're in a good spot, and I'm really excited to get going. And yeah, you know, I can't wait for the season. Cheers, Elliot. That's great.